it is an attack, John, I agree with you, on womenhood. And what I'd like to understand is where are the women? Can you, can you imagine, for example, if a minority was applying to school, and, and I know the Supreme Court changed everything, so you know maybe these rules are not as applicable anymore, although that's debatable depending on the school because they're all going to find their workarounds. But it used to be that you could put somebody who was black in a, in a separate bucket, and they got a certain sort of, uh, well, boost, right, because of the color of their skin. Can you imagine if... If every you know white person just suddenly said, well, I identify as black today, I identify as black. And so when I apply to Harvard, I'm going in as a black student. Can you imagine what the minority community would say in response? They'd be like, no way. You can't do that. Well, how is that any different than somebody who has been born male choosing to become female in order to race against women in college sports. I mean, where are the women saying, no way, you can't do it. I mean, I'd just get right up out of that pool, if it were me swimming, and say, you're on your own. And get all the other ladies to come with me. They should not even engage in this. They shouldn't allow it. Women need to be stronger. We need to stick up for ourselves and our daughters and our country. It is an assault on every single female. They are dragging us through the mud. It's really the ultimate, if you think of it, hey, I know I got a lot of guys watching, but it's like the ultimate triumph of men. Because men are the ones that win in that scenario. <sighs> You see, you're getting my Irish up. Anyway, good to see you again, all of you. I'm just looking through Jay, uh, Mark, yeah, I, I see the man ponds. I mean, so that, that's the problem, right? You just never knew you were menstruating all these years. Rob, good to see you. OMG is right, absolutely. Rick, hello. Don, good to see you back here again. It is insane. And there's a part of me that's like, okay, why do we even give it the time of day? I, I've said that for years. And in fact, in the past, have chosen often not to cover these stories because I think they're so out there, but they're not out there anymore. This is mainstream. And they are coming for your kids, and they are coming for you, and they are coming for women. What do you think the whole Karen thing's about? It's about making women less powerful. If you're a middle-aged woman that wants to stand up for yourself, that wants to, to say, hey, you know, maybe I want this or that, or like suddenly now you're a Karen. They are doing everything they can to demoralize and erase women. And what I want to see is more women coming together and saying, you know what? Thank you very much. I'm not racing today. I'm getting out of the pool. I'm not changing in that locker room. And no, he can't use that ladies room with me. Listen, I have all the empathy in the world. I really do. And I have a performing arts background. And believe me, I've known my share of all kinds of people and consider them friends. And, and this, is not, this is not a personal thing in any way. This is when you try to bully it upon a culture by insisting it's your way or the highway. We can be very, very, very empathetic. We can be very welcoming to a lot of people. But when you literally want us to drink the beer and you literally want the girls in the pool with the biologically born man who was ranked number 400 and something, but now wins first place. I'm sorry, you're taking it too far, all right? Too, too far. And I hope this comes back to haunt them in a massive way in this election cycle. That is the power we have, ladies and gentlemen. That is the power we have. Hey everyone, Trish Regan here. If you enjoyed that clip, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Did I do that right? Uh, not quite, but you know where it is. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get the alerts, and I'll see you back on the show.